You know what I don't like about having a hobby? You talking to me? Yes, I was. Is that a rhetorical question? No. Well, what then? I'm working here. Do you know what sucks about having a hobby? I don't know what. What sucks is how much you have to pay for hobby supplies. And how much you have to pay if you want to build your layout. But I figured out a way to save money. I don't got time for this. Good for you. So what it is, I got glue. Two types of glue. I use this non-toxic stuff because it doesn't smell. Well, it actually smells more than this stuff. I smell this more than this. But this says non-toxic. Instead of buying HO building model kits or model kits period, you can start building your own stuff like freestyle. You can buy these sheets. This one's about a foot by seven inches. This one's about a foot by six inches. You seem to get more in the orange one than you do the green one. Then you can start building your own little skyscrapers. The windows might be a tad off, but are they off or is that just part of the design? Here's a comparison to a DPM building. The other day, everybody got equipment and ground. How to make scale sized turds. I use this paint that I get at Dollarama. We're in Canada. Dollarama is our dollar store, I guess, or whatever. It's a dollar twenty-five or dollar fifty for this paint each, and you don't really need much of it. If I want to burn through this, I'm gonna to have to start drinking it. Made in the USA, water-based, so I guess it's not toxic. I don't feel nothing yet. Probably won't kick in for about fifteen years. Without realizing it, every time I get glue on me. It probably absorbs into my skin, goes down to the bone, and starts gluing me together eternally from the inside out. So after 15 years, I'm gonna have a hard little nub on the end of my finger because it's glued solid, just like when you have a blob of glue on plastic and you got that little bubble and it's hard. To make turds, Spit out some brown paint. Hold on, let me, the brown's actually quite popular. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's everywhere. Shit. What did I just do? Whatever it was, I didn't enjoy it because it was messy. Now, you just leave that there. Close the lid. Watch it doesn't spray everywhere. There we go. And then let it dry. And when it dries, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the lid. You're going to see there's a big blob on dried up there. And it's kind of, kind of feels vinylish until uh, you start twisting it around. And then you roll it up and you got this uh, turd. Looks well enough like a turd to me. And the one's the wiser. Holy. Trads of times are crazy. It's cold outside. You don't want to move. Just like those pajamas as a kid that had the emergency little pouch in the back, the two buttons, you open it up because you have to use the bathroom. Well, they got those for adults now. Anything's possible in the whole lab. This is 125 or 124 scale figure with the 125 or 124 scale log. So, what I've done is I bought this plastic styri, styrin. Pronounce it wrong because you know. That's just the way it goes. And one's called Plastruct, the other one's Evergreen. So now what I'm doing is, oh, the Evergreen was six bucks, seven bucks for tax Canadian. Tax was uh, 10 bucks Canadian, 9.99 in tax. So it took me two sheets 
of the evergreen. There's one sheet of the evergreen cut in half. And I cut another sheet in half to create the sides of my tower. I will stand nicely beside the DPM building and leave room to see the windows of the DPM building. That just worked out nice like that. I didn't plan that. So the two sheets I cut up of this evergreen stuff. I'm uh, only in tit for, well, 3 divide 7. So what, 233 tax, we'll say 250, 275 a sheet. Yeah, we'll say three bucks a sheet. Compared to having to buy a DPM kit or a kit somewhere else, that's gonna cost me at least minimum $30 usually. And if you're gonna buy a tower like this, you're gonna be paying quite a few dollars if you want a foot, foot high skyscraper in HO. Although I've seen them on eBay for like $18, but I've never actually ordered one and I'm not sure if it even be near HO. Oh, it's not stop. It's curled up holding his belly. Something's wrong. So you get the cheap acrylic paint from Dollarama or wherever you can get this stuff or similar. Then you go buy your styrene and cut your pieces. Sure, it takes time, but you have fun while you're doing it. You're gonna need an exacto knife and exacto blades. And if you want to go out, get yourself a file and stuff and all that, go ahead. But I just use exacto blades after I'm gonna put little things over this to straighten out the windows so they don't look all off because they're kind of off right now but uh nonetheless here are two houses i finished building here's how that acrylic paint looks on the side and it seems to look pretty good you can see the brush marks kind of gives it an effect i'm not going for super detail here i'm just you know from the distance this is going to look like a row house good enough but i used two gauges this is point 20. It's pretty flimsy, but if it's just standing there, right, it's not going to do nothing. You got no wind coming through your HO, kind of unless you're making something, but it holds up pretty good. And then you drop it and it handles it. This is point 0.40. It's pretty, pretty sturdy. Feels not too bad. It's got a good feel. It's got some weight. Feels like something in there. It's a little trickier to cut, a little harder to cut. You can see the overlines from, uh, too much force, but just take your time. Put a rough around the edges, some more overlines, but it's the good thing about the point two O is that it's like cutting through paper, just a couple of slices and you're you're there. But standing still like this, you can't tell what's what, who's thicker or who's whatever. You're gonna want to get these or something similar to this to make some type of brace inside your building. There's the in the corner where I put it. Help me get stronger. Right? You don't need very much glue either, and both of these glues will work. Both of these types of styrene, but it has to be the plain and only this type, and then the white. I don't know if the colored stuff is the same. Here's the testers non toxic paint I used. This is Pastruct glue to pass struct. I did this about probably about three, four hours ago. It's holding. You can kind of, you know, you can, if you pull it, you're going to pull it apart, but you're not going to pull. It's just going to sit there. So that's good enough. Here's the evergreen stuck to the pass trucks with that uh, non-toxic. Now it too is holding good. And it can come off if you want to pull it off, I guess, but you're not going to be yanking it on like this. So that's more than enough to handle a drop. I mean, a drop as in like if it falls off the counter or the table or something, right? It's actually kind of neat. I, I don't know, that's kind of creative on my half. Like, instantly just whatever. So you build a bunch of these and you got your houses. Then you build a bunch of these and you got your skyscrapers. This one house is one sheet of styrene, the, this stuff here, so that's 6 inches by 12 inches. So really you're going to pay like under $10 for three houses, because you're going to want to get the point thirty, probably, not the point forty, not the point twenty, but get the 30 in between, so it seems alright. But nonetheless you'll pay 8 bucks 
10 bucks for three houses, pay another 10 bucks for paint if you want a wide variety of paint. And then you're off to the races. So you paid 20 bucks and you got yourself three houses. And sure, you gotta put some time into it, but it's worth it because you see accomplishment. And who cares how it looks, right? You know, like real from like a foot away. I mean, 10 feet away. <laughs> so, what I did is I need characters for my layout. I cut these out of a magazine. This is from a, actually, no, these are from a Clara set I bought. The figures, those were on the back. And well, they're almost a show scale, so I'm just going to tape them to the wall like something's going on there. You guys can't hang out here. You have to move along. Take that tire with you and leave that hose alone. Oh, my stomach. So, those guys work for that. I just got a little oddball pictures here. But this too can go on the layout, right? Somewhere in the background. Right. Oh, there's the yard. There's the side of the yard and the side of the house. Oh, interesting. Nice. This is like super small. But you'd be at the store window and you want to look in now and you're like, hey, what's going on here? Oh, look at that. And these are all the magazines, right? You know, just whatever. It's an idea to build a house with plastic. More of those rooms. And watch this. More rooms. You know, so pools and exercise rooms. Look in the window of the building. Oh, look at the pool they got in there. Nice. All floors, all pool. Wow. That actually works for all your layout needs. Look at the 124 scale people I got here. Stud! You must keep them all happy. They're all smiling. There's more 124 scale type people in the magazine. Ha 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 ha. Looking at the cars, the 124 scale cars I Cut out of magazines too. Look excellent on the side of a wall. It's a 125 scale chassis by AMT up beside these cars. So if you look at the wheels, you can see that they, uh, they're very close. You know, that could pass for a 130 second, whatever in between. I wonder if that's a three seater. And there you have it.